What's up, baby girl out there in New Jersey? My friend from New Jersey. My baby girl from New Jersey. What's up, Ariana? What you doing, boo? Now I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Without consistency, you'll never finish. So do what you feel passionate about, passionate about. Take chances. Don't be afraid to fail. There's an old IQ test, nine guys. And you have to draw five lines of the center and then you nine guys. times in his career, the most in the history of baseball, but you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs. Fall forward. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Because the 1,001st was the light bulb. Fall forward. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take this, and I'm sure you saw that you heard that before, but I want to talk to you about why that's so important. You will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. Stress tested. You will suck at something. There's no doubt about it. And I know that's probably not a traditional message for a graduation ceremony, but hey, I'm telling you, boys, because it's never. The Middle East needs your help. Japan needs your help. Alabama needs your help. Tennessee needs your help. Louisiana needs your help. Philadelphia needs your help. We need a lot, and we need it from you. We really do. We need it from you, young people. I mean, I'm not speaking for the rest of us up here, but I know I'm getting a little grayer. We need it from you, the young people. So remember this. You got to get out there. You got to give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your, your, your talent, your prayers, or your treasures. 
What are you going to do with what you have? I'm not talking about how much you have. Some of you are business majors, some of you are theologians, nurses, sociologists. Some of you have money, some of you have patience, some of you have kindness, some of you have love. Some of you have the gift of long suffering, whatever it is, whatever your gift is. What are you going to do with what you have? All right, there's no last point about that. Sometimes, to figure out where you're going. Your life will never be a straight path. I began at Fordham University as a pre-med student. I, I took a course called the Cardiac Morphogenesis. I couldn't read it, I couldn't say it, I sure couldn't pass it. So then I decided to go into pre-law, then journalism. And with no academic focus, my grades took off in their own direction. I was a 1.8 GPA. And the university suggested that it might be better to take some time off. I was 20 years old. I was at my lowest point. And then one day, and I remember the exact day, March 27th, 1975, I was helping my mother in a beauty shop. My mother owned a beauty shop up in Mount Vernon. And there was, there was this older woman who was uh, considered one of the elders in the town. And I didn't know her personally, but I, I was looking in the mirror, and every time I looked in the mirror, I could see her behind me, and she was staring at me. She just kept looking at me. Every time I looked at her, she kept giving me these strange looks. So she finally took the dryer off her head and said, she said something I'll never forget. She said, young boy, I have a prophecy, a spiritual prophecy. She said, you are going to travel the world and speak to millions of people. And in the years that followed, just as that woman prophesied, I have traveled the world and I have spoken to millions of people through my movements. Millions who, up to this day, couldn't see me. Up to this day, I couldn't see while I was talking to them, and they couldn't see me. They couldn't see the man. They couldn't see the real man. But I see you today. And I'm encouraged by what I see. And I'm strengthened by what I see. Because taking risk is not just about going for a job. It's also about knowing what you know and what you don't know. It's about being open to people and to ideas. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. Never be discouraged. Never hold back. Give everything you've got. And when you fall throughout life, remember this. Fall forward. Oh. Hey, Leslie Jones. What